So after the huge success we had with Mummy, he's only taking like, what was it, 1,700 or so kills to get the drop, I've decided to go back to a more classic one, which is the very first one I ever got a drop from on my main account, the Hill Giant. I killed so many of these, like, I'm sure it had to have been probably 10,000 at least on my main account, I don't even know. Now, unlike the mummies, we won't know how many I've actually killed because I unfortunately have already killed hill giants in the past before I had rune metrics, but we'll at least know how many I've had since this official beginning of the attempt. So that'll be something at least. Now, strategy-wise, it's pretty similar to the strategy I've used for mummies as well as the strategy... Actually, it's identical to what I use for warped tortoises, which aren't a drop, but are still something I'm fighting. Yeah, we're just... Now we got this, and we got this resource dungeon is where I'll be fighting them, just because it's a nice little open area, you know, not trees in the way to accidentally click on, or all the stalactites and mites that are in the main cave area out there. I might have to mess with the scavenge options on Tiny here in order to make him not pick up certain things like limpwort roots. I don't know. Depends on how annoying it becomes over time. This is what the items look like. I do have my split dragon tooth necklace so that I can have prayer on indefinitely. Just makes me more likely to get, you know, like one or two hit kills or whatever. Whatever it may be with these guys. Yeah, see, that's pretty good. Gonna be a whole lot of scavenging perks. I got that with the mummies as well. Look at that, a Renar. I might want to grab my gem bag for this as well, but... I didn't bring it along for this episode here. So yeah, that's... They're pretty easy. You know, I don't expect this to take very long unless I have extremely bad luck like I did on my main account, which is common for me, so... There's that. But ultimately, you know, if we get it in, like, 6,000 or less kills, I'll be pretty happy. I don't expect it to take too long, so... Don't be too surprised if you see the follow-up episode to this, you know, within a week or two. I'll probably try to get through this, because it is good training for me, since I am still noob tier on some of my skills. I've actually switched to having it earn defense with magic, now that I've hit magic 95. It's because, you know, there's not that much beyond magic 95, and my defense could definitely use a little bit of a boost. Now, I probably won't be picking up all these drops, I'll just let... Tiny and the uh, spring cleaner, if they even drop anything the spring cleaner works on, I don't know. I mean, I've got it, you know, limited down on what it does to a fairly limited set. So I don't know if they drop any of that stuff. I've not looked at their drop list. But yeah, so that is the general idea here. I think this will be a pretty easy one, and I hope to have the fight in the very near future. And you will see it when it happens. See you then.